Hello and welcome to another Bakking tutorial. Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set up speech bubbles inside your projects. With that said, let's get started. All right, so here in this scene, I want an NPC to warn the player of an event coming up. So I'm going to go to events. I'm going to go to make sure I'm on stationary, go down to stationary speak, plop this in, change the graphic. I want it to be a pirate right here. And I'm also going to select which animation I want it to play. By default, it's on walk, but I want it to be waiting. I'm going to click add and exit. And I'm just going to leave this text because we're going to change this all here in a second. I just want to get it positioned right. So I'm on the scale and I don't want to be, I want to be on the rotation, which is hotkey E. I'm going to turn it about right there. Then I'm going to press W for the position and I'm going to move it. Now it wants to snap in this grid. I'm just going to hold shift and now I can just move it nice and evenly. Once I get it to where I want it to be, I'm now going to worry about actually implementing the text speech. So I'm going to hit edit event. All right, so I'm going to maximize this and see what's going on here. We can see that it's displaying a conversation, which again is found conversation display conversation. It has no images associated with the characters that are talking. And then down here under window display position, it's showing it at the bottom. Well, simply we can just click speech bubble and that is going to give us an automatic speech bubble. That is literally how simple this tutorial was. So you can go to this event right here and we can change the text to say, Hey kid, beware of the spider crap up ahead. And we can hit okay and play test and we can walk over and see that he talks. All right, so now we can add just a few more here. We can go to edit event. We can also add what is just known as a display message. This one doesn't give you the options for images. So it's just a little shorter. You can see that this one's a lot bigger, a little more information, but it, the display message will also be able to show a speech bubble. And this time I'll select the player and I'll say something like, I know what I'm doing. And then we'll select another message, speech bubble of the event. And we'll say, don't say, I didn't warn you, something like that. We'll hit okay and play test again. And we'll walk over and here we go. Hey kid, beware of the spider trap up ahead. I know what I'm doing. Don't say, I didn't warn you. And it auto does everything. We can now run up and see exactly what he's talking about for the trap ahead. Cool. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe if you did. If you have any questions, comments below, Steam Forms will get you figured out. And with that said, I'll see you at the next video.